morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, January the 6th. Today is the Festival of the Epiphany of Our Lord. Today we celebrate the visiting of the wise men to the baby Jesus and the Holy Family. Uh, it is always celebrated on January the 6th, uh, which most of the time is on a weekday. So we, we uh, don't uh, do things like daily devotions or uh, have midweek services for these festivals. Uh, we often do not uh, hear about the Epiphany. Uh, but since it's today, we will take care of it, uh, study it during morning prayer. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Christ has appeared to us. O come, let us worship him. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. The Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. My heart overflows with a pleasing theme. I address my verses to the King. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the most handsome of the sons of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one, in the splendor and majesty. In your majesty ride out victoriously for the cause of truth and meekness and righteousness. Let your right hand teach your awesome deeds. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The peoples fall under you. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of your kingdom is a scepter of uprightness. You have loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Our Old Testament reading today is from the last chapter of Isaiah, Isaiah 66. Thus says the Lord, Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What is the house that you would build for me, and what is the place of my rest? All these things my hand has made, and so all these things came to be, declares the Lord. But this is the one to whom I will look, he who is humble and contrite in spirit, and trembles at my word. He who slaughters an ox is like one who kills a man, he who sacrifices a lamb like one who breaks a dog's neck, he who presents a grain offering like one who offers pig's blood. He who makes a memorial offering of frankincense, like one who blesses an idol. These have chosen their own ways, and their soul delights in their abominations. I will choose harsh treatment for them, and bring their fears upon them, because when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not listen. But they did what was evil in my eyes, and chose that in, that in which I did not delight. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you and cast you out for my name's sake have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. But it is they who will be put to shame. The sound of an uproar from the city, a sound from the temple, the sound of the Lord rendering recompense to his enemies. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Before her pain came upon her, she delivered a son. Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall a land be born in one day? Shall a nation be brought forth in one moment? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she brought forth her children. Shall I bring to the point of birth and not cause to bring forth, says the Lord? Shall I, who cause to bring forth, shut the womb, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice with her in joy, all you who mourn over her, that you may nurse and be satisfied from her consoling breast that you may drink deeply with delight from her glorious abundance. For thus says the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river, and the glory of the nations like an overflowing stream. And you shall nurse, you shall be carried upon her hip, and bounced upon her knees. 
as one whom his mother comforts, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. You shall see, and your heart shall rejoice. Your bones shall flourish like the grass, and the hand of the Lord shall be known to his servants, and he shall show his indignation against his enemies. For behold, the Lord will come in fire in his chariots like a whirlwind, to render his anger in fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire will the Lord enter into judgment, and by his sword with all flesh, and those slain by the Lord shall be many. Those who sanctify and purify themselves to go into the gardens, following one in the midst, eating pig's flesh and the abomination, and mice shall come to an end together, declares the Lord. For I know their works and their thoughts, and the time is coming to gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and shall see my glory, and I will set a sign among them, and from them I will send survivors to the nations, to Tarshish, Pol, and Lud, to draw the bow, to Tubal and Javan, to the coastlands far away that have not heard my fame or seen my glory. And they shall declare my glory among the nations, and they shall bring all your brothers from all the nations as an offering to the Lord, on horses and in chariots and in litters and on mules and on dromedaries, to my holy mountain Jerusalem, says the Lord just as the Israelites bring their grain offering in a clean vessel to the house of the Lord. Our writing today is by Gregory of Nazianzus from his Oration on the Holy Lights. Jesus goes up out of the water, for with himself he carries up the world and sees heaven opened, which Adam has shut against himself and all his posterity is the gates of paradise by the flaming sword. And the Spirit bears witness to his Godhead, for he descends upon one that is like him. So also does the voice from heaven, for Jesus came from heaven, witness to his Godhead. And the Spirit comes like a dove, for he honors the body of Jesus, for this also was God through its union with him. So the Spirit is also seen in a bodily form. Moreover, the dove has from distant ages desired to proclaim the end of the deluge. But if you were to judge the Godhead by bulk and weight, and the Spirit seems to you a small thing, because he came in the form of a dove, O man of contemptible littleness of thought, concerning the greatest of things. You must also, to be consistent, despise the kingdom of heaven, because it is compared to a mustard seed. And you must exalt the adversary above the majesty of Jesus, because he is called a great mountain in Leviathan, king of that which lives in the water, whereas Christ is called the lamb and the pearl, and the drop of rain that comes from heaven, and similar names. About the Epiphany The Feast of the Epiphany of our Lord commemorates no event, but presents an idea that assumes concrete form only through the facts of our Lord's life. The idea of Epiphany is that the Christ who was born in Bethlehem is recognized by the world as God. At Christmas, God appears as a man, and at Epiphany, this man appears before the world as God. That Christ became man needed no proof, but this man, this helpless child, is God, needed proof. The manifestations of the Trinity, the signs and wonders performed by this man and all his miracles, have the purpose of proving to men that Jesus is God. Lately, especially in the Western Church, the story of the Magi has been associated with this feast day. As Gentiles who were brought to faith in Jesus Christ, the Magi represent all believers from the Gentile world. We join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
And as always on Wednesday, our Wednesday prayer is the Shorter Litany. Uh, is also particularly appropriate for uh, the Festival of Epiphany. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. God the Father in heaven, have mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy. Be gracious to us, spare all the dying. From all sin, from all evil, from the devil's might, from the devil's wiles, from your wrath and from hell's torment, from sudden and evil death, good Lord, deliver them. By the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the grace of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help them, good Lord. In the hour of death, on the day of judgment, help them, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, good Lord to comfort all the dying, to forgive them all their sins, to lead them out of this misery into eternal life, we implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, leave us not to bitter death. Lord, have mercy. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, allow us not to lose hope in the face of death and hell. Lord, have mercy. Holy Lord God, holy and mighty God, holy and most merciful Redeemer, God eternal, keep us steadfast in the true faith. Lord, have mercy. Amen. O God, by the leading of a star, you made known your only begotten Son to the Gentiles. Lead us, who know you by faith, to enjoy in heaven the fullness of your divine presence. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul in all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Have a blessed day.